are my figures naked or clothed? I like using clothes figures, so that's what I've done in this uh, workshop. I like the colours, shapes and angles and patterns you can get with clothing. But by all means work from uh, life model classes if that's what you want to do. Is there a lot of collage? Of course there is. It's me, Karen Stamper Collage. That's quite nice actually with the stripes here. I feel like she's made from long hair. So you play around until you find one that you like and then you could stick this on here and stick the whole thing in your book. Will this course help me develop ideas? Yes, it certainly will help you free up and you can continue to take this work into paint or even more collage. So yes, I'd say it will. Um, so, so I will lead you step by step, but I will also encourage you to go off and experiment and play with it, play with the ideas yourself. There's no strict rules here, as in all my courses. Um, most of the techniques could be used in many different ways and in different order. I don't have to be strictly the way I do it. Okay, so it's structured, but also there's a lot of freedom for you to develop in your own way. Will Ali need lots of materials? No, not if you've done one of my courses before. Um, I've tried to keep the same materials, so uh, you should have everything you need and simple basic materials. Across here that connects to these bands here, so it's simple materials. If you want to fit it around pieces now you're probably going to have to trace that and cut it to fit. Do I need to be able to draw beautifully? Uh, no. Um, we're working basically with a flat figure as a shape and design so Not no. worrying about the figure being exactly in proportion or the head the right size. Do I teach lots of technical uh, information about figure proportions and three dimensions? No. Uh, we're basically dealing with a flat figure and having fun. You can guess what happened there. The nib flew off, black ink went everywhere. <sighs> so these Poskas are a couple of years old and I love them, they're great, but uh, towards the end of their life, when you're shaking them very vigorously, the nibs can fly off. So be aware, be aware of that. But otherwise, let's keep going. So I'm going to give her the longest, pointiest, weirdest shoe. If it doesn't work, can you use lots of colour? Yes, by all means. I just prefer to work in black and white with a touch of colour in my book. But yes, you can use as much colour as you like. If you want to knock areas back that you don't like, a white woody or a carandash crayon or even the white Posca paint will work. So here, I didn't like this novel up on her shoulder, so I coloured just crayoned over it. Knocked it back. It's fine. Do I need to be able to draw? Well, I think if you can hold a pen or a pencil in your hand and follow a line, I think that's fine. Here again, adding some collage paper before I started, filling in with the blue Posca pen, just a few lines to represent the figure. So, um, I hope that interests you and you want to have a bit of fun with some figure drawing and really loosen up and not worry about it being an, a, um, a precise, exact figure.